welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Natalie Matthews. I am an IFBB bikini pro in the sport of bodybuilding. I'm a vegan chef, a YouTuber, and through my platforms, I share fit vegan recipes and my personal journey to the stage. The number one question I get asked is, Natalie, how do you prepare tofu? So I'm going to show you today a few easy and simple ways that I like to prepare my tofu. There's tons of different types of tofu. You can find at the store silken tofu, extra firm tofu, uh, high protein sprouted tofu. My personal favorites are extra form and high protein tofu. Why is that? Well, these types of tofu have, as you can see here, little to no content of water which means that I can skip the part of pressing it. So why do we need to press tofu? Because if we do not press it, the tofu will get soggy when you cook it. So pressing it improves the texture, the flavor, so that's why I like to press it. But this, the protein is higher on the high protein tofu, so that's why we're picking that one today. So here I have super firm tofu. So this is a sprouted tofu. This is high protein. It's really, really delicious. As you can see, there's no water content in here. I just simply cut it into like little strip pieces and I am going to put it in the oven at 405 for about 15 minutes or until desired consistency. And then I'm going to marinate it in barbecue sauce. So you can see that literally takes 15 minutes to make. Super easy, super simple. You can pair it with some rice. You can pair it with a side salad. So let's get to it. So this is barbecue sauce. And if you guys want a super easy barbecue sauce, I have one on my website, fitveganchef.com. I'm just gonna brush some barbecue sauce on the tofu. And if for any reason you want your tofu more firm, more golden, you can leave it in the oven for a longer time. I'm going to be doing today is going to be a grilled tofu with a sweet chili sauce. This one's super easy. I normally do it on a grill pan. If you do not have a grill pan at home, you can use a panini press. This even takes more labor off the whole recipe so it's even quicker. But if you do have a grill pan, go check out my episode 22 of my vegan bikini prep diary series where I show you how to do it on a grill pan. So the only thing I'm going to do here is I am going to put it in max. You want it super, super hot and that helps the tofu not to stick. Another awesome tip is that you do have to use the extra firm tofu or the sprouted high protein tofu because again, it has no water content so it'll make this a really easy process. And I just sliced it almost into like a steak. Um, and we're just gonna let it do its thing here press slightly and we're gonna leave it there for 10 minutes. Thick cooking pan on medium heat. I am going to slice my tofu and show you a simple way of doing a savory garlicky tofu. So right now is, as you can see, you can hear it, it's sizzling. So I like to press it to get rid of any little bit of water. Having a non-stick pan is key for this recipe. And I don't leave it for too long, probably like five minutes. And then I flip it. And then I press again. So I'm using liquid aminos. This is a prep staple for me. It's 
zero calories, very tasty. It's almost like, well, it is a gluten-free uh, soy sauce option, alternative. And I'm just gonna put two tablespoons of this. Tablespoon of liquid smoke. And that'll give it like a really nice smoky flavor. And a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. So now I'm going to flip them one more time. So both sides are covered in that sauce. I wish you could smell this because it smells amazing. <laughs> And then I turn it off and let it uh, cool in the pan. All right, so we're going to do a sweet tofu recipe. This is going to be a tofu chocolate mousse. Super simple. I'm using a half a block of silken tofu. I am going to be using cacao powder, which is super rich in antioxidants really amazing. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. Salt brings the flavors in chocolate. Just a little bit, just a pinch. About a tablespoon of vanilla extract and a tablespoon of maple syrup. Now if you're in prep and you're looking out for calories, you can always use your preferred sweetener of choice. You can use agave, coconut sugar, or even stevia. And then we're just gonna blend it up, and that's it. So I'm just gonna do kind of like a parfait style. You can use this as a dessert, as a breakfast dish, and then some cacao granola. And I'm just gonna build some layers. Raspberries or whatever berry that you prefer. Oops, I'm making a mess. to close that up and put it in the fridge overnight and in the morning it'll be super creamy, very yummy, almost like a yogurt consistency. So now I'm gonna show you a tofu scramble recipe. This one's super easy. I'm using extra firm tofu. I'm gonna get my hands dirty. We're going to crumble it up with our hands and we're going to place it in a hot pan. This recipe is super simple, super easy, and you can make a breakfast burrito with it. You can uh, serve it on bagels with some avocado toast, which is what I'm gonna be making today. And really, possibilities are endless with a tofu scramble. And I promise you won't taste the difference. a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. And nutritional yeast is pretty much vegan fairy dust. So I add this to anything. It has a nutty uh, flavor, almost like a cheesy-like flavor. And it's perfect for tofu scramble. I'm gonna, just gonna add about a quarter cup. I'm using a little bit of turmeric for color, a pinch of pepper, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. and half a teaspoon of salt. And then we just mix it around. And at this point, you can add peppers, you can add uh, spinach, you can really just add whatever you want. I'm gonna keep it very simple because I'm gonna show you a very fun way of plating this. Another fun fact about nutritional yeast is that it's very high in protein, so for every two tablespoons, you're getting about five to six grams of protein. So adding it to your foods is very awesome to up your protein on a vegan diet. Also, nutritional yeast is very high in vitamin B12.
last recipe I'm showing you today is going to be an air fried tofu recipe. The cool thing about having an air fryer is that really you do not need to do anything to the tofu. It cooks so quickly and it's just an amazing tool to have in a kitchen. It's almost making me a little bit lazy in the kitchen because I just throw everything in there and it just comes out perfect. I'm literally just throwing the tofu in. I haven't added anything to it. I'm just gonna put it at 400 for 10 minutes. Simply just cubed uh, extra firm tofu and that's it. And again, I'm using extra firm tofu because it has little to no water content. All right, so this is done and it's, it's looking just like if it would fried. So that's why I love using the air fryer with no oil, it requires no oil. And I'm just gonna serve this on a miso soup just like you would at a restaurant, and that's it. So there you have it, six super easy, simple fit vegan recipes using tofu. Hope you guys try it out, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, and Subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.